deep in the heart of the eastern woodlands resides somewhat of an enigma. Everyone's heard of it. Some people have seen it. And no one completely understands it. While you sit on a couch watching TV, it sits peacefully on a rock, soaking up the day's last rays of sun. The timber rattlesnake, like all other snakes, is an extremely misunderstood creature. The knowledge we have of this snake goes mostly unnoticed by the public, tucked away in scientific literature. Have you ever wondered what a wild snake does, where it goes, what its everyday looks like? Well, here's an opportunity to find out. Hi, my name is Alex Bentley, and I want to try something new but I can't do it by myself. I want to capture wild rattlesnakes, equip them with GPS transmitters, and then let them loose. Now you may be thinking this sounds familiar. Radio telemetry is a tracking method that biologists and ecologists have been using to study snakes since the early 1970s. In fact, it revolutionized our understanding of wild snakes. But one methodology can only take you so far. And in the past 40 years, technology has been rapidly advancing, while biology has continued using the same tool. Technology has paved the way for biology in the past, and now history is repeating itself. GPS is everything radio telemetry has been, and more. Scientists have been using GPS and GNSS technology to track large mammals and birds with astounding results, gathering more data than was ever possible before. Using radio telemetry, biologists obtain locations on animals every one to three days. But with GPS, it's now possible to gain almost continuous position time series data. Now it's easy enough to throw a big collar on a grizzly bear. But it wasn't until recently that GPS technology was miniaturized enough to track small animals. Now that the technology is small enough, it's just a matter of putting it to practice. But it won't be easy, and it won't be cheap. That's where you come in. With your support, and through partnership with Telemetry Solutions, I'll purchase nine more of these customly designed GPS transmitters. I'll attach these units to wild timber rattlesnakes and release them. Then together, we'll have the opportunity to see how it works. As a contributor to the project, you'll get to choose a snake to track, and you'll receive data on where your snake is going, how they are spending their time, what habitat they're using, and more. You'll have the opportunity to regularly receive photos, videos, and even prints of your snake. Furthermore, You'll be able to ask me questions, give advice, and get insider information on how this technology is working to relate ecological and biological information. Now there's no guarantee that this will work out as planned. This is an experiment, testing the waters. But some of science's greatest advancements have come when people dared to try new things. So will it work? Let's find out.